MGF Gripshaw is a range of lightweight, manhandleable, GRP shoring products for use in trenches up to 2 meters in depth and is ideal for use in the utility sector when either hand digging or using a mini excavator. All the products can be installed and extracted by hand and do not require lifting or handling by an excavator. The system can be provided with or without a GRP backing board. The GRP Vertishore system provides shoring solutions for excavation depths from 1000 to 2000 mm. Incorporating single acting hydraulic struts to support trench widths ranging from 620 to 1450 mm. The collapsible equipment means that the system can be easily transported in small commercial vehicles. The GRP Vertishore system includes a 500mm wide backing board to provide additional protection from loose material in the trench walls. GRP Vertishore can generally be collected or delivered direct to site within 24 hours. Please contact MGF for free advice on whether the product is suitable and if a design is required. MGF can provide a complimentary design service for customers submitting a completed MGF design request form. The product is installed using the dig and place technique and is therefore only suitable for use in trenches whose vertical sides are generally stable and self-supporting in the short term. Prior to delivery, prepare a safe working area local to the excavation for assembly of the system. Unload the GRP Vertishore and lay one of the panels on timber skids with the MGF logo facing the floor and toes of channel facing skyward. Ensure any air is removed from the hydraulic cylinders by opening the quick release valve and compressing the rams. A pair of hydraulic struts with hose connectors should be placed inside the channel with the male hydraulic coupling facing the top of the panel. Hydraulic struts for GRP Vertishore are supplied pre-connected via a short vertical running hose. Connect hydraulic struts within the channel using provided pins and arc clips. Please be aware that at this point of installation the hydraulic cylinder is able to scissor and could potentially trap operative's fingers. Care must be taken to ensure that hydraulic cylinders do not collapse. Place the top panel over the struts, aligning the pre-drilled holes in the struts with the channels. The end of the strut with the hose connector is secured using a single pin through the upper hole. The opposite end is pinned through both bottom holes. When positioned correctly, both panels will be flush. The unit is now locked from scissoring. Carry the unit over to the trench and position flush with the edge. The top of the panel must be facing away from the trench. Connect the bucket pump to the hydraulic strut via the supplied hose ensuring that the hose and bucket pump do not obstruct the installation. The hose fitting will connect to the quick release valve on the upper cylinder. Hand dig or excavate the trench to the required width and depth and batter the ends whenever possible. Faces of the excavation must be vertical and provide sufficient space for the system to be easily slid into place. To ensure that the system adequately preloads the soil and to prevent extraction difficulties, it is important the trench is dug to the designed dimensions. Inspect to ensure the faces are stable. Do not stand directly over the edges in case the face is unstable. 
this safe system of work will focus on the works being completed by hand. Alternatively, the systems can be installed and extracted using a suitable mini excavator and suitably rated lifting ancillaries. Feed the installation slings through the upper holes in the protruding channels and back through the loop at the ends of the sling and pull tight. Two operators should grip each of the lowering slings whilst ensuring that they are stood in a safe area with secure footing. The sling should be gripped such that it can be easily released if a secure footing is lost. Carefully begin to launch a GRP Vertishore system until the weight of the unit is balanced on the edge of the skid or trench. Take any slack from the straps and carefully begin to raise the unit such that itself weight will begin pulling the system into the excavation. Place straps safely to one side and begin to pump out the hydraulic struts using the MGF supplied bucket pump. The valve on the single acting bucket pump is one way and should remain in the forward position to lock and pressurise the hydraulic strut. The panel may need to be slightly lifted during pump out using the installation straps if the base snags on an uneven trench floor. Continue until the facing panel pushes tightly against the opposing trench wall and that soil begins to compress. Panels should be in continuous contact with the trench wall. It is critical that any voids directly behind the hydraulic struts are packed out with timber or similar strength material to ensure that the ground is suitably preloaded. Continue to pressurise the system to between 400 and 750 psi. The pressure gauge must hold a pressure and not indicate any loss in pressure. Struts are fitted with a safety bleed off valve to prevent overextension. If hydraulic fluid is visible, then the strut is too short and either a longer strut is required or the width of the trench needs reducing. Hydraulic fluid is water soluble and biodegradable. Ensure final position of the unit sits square and vertical against both faces of the excavation with continuous vertical contact on the exposed trench faces. Realign, pack out if necessary. Move the hydraulic hose by prying off with the release tool. Retrieve the hose, ensuring that the female connector does not fall to the ground as grit and dirt can damage the mechanism. Turn the valve on the bucket pump back to depressurize the pump. Continue to install GRP Vertishore units along the required length of the trench, the maximum of 2 meter centers for GRP Vertishore's with a backing board or 1.5 meter centers for GRP Vertishores without a backing board, or as required in the design documents. Note that normally a minimum of three are required to work safely within an open length of trench. Inspect the full installation, ensuring that there is no evidence of instability along the unsupported faces and edges. It is now safe to enter the excavation. Access the excavation via a ladder placed between adjacent GRP Vertishore units. When inside the trench, operatives should continually monitor the walls for change of conditions such as water seepage, excessive movement or cracks. GRP Vertishore units are removed in a continuous backfill and lifting sequence. Ensuring that no operatives enter the trench unless they are within a zone protected by fully pumped out struts. Depressurize the struts using an MGF release tool and use a spade to prise panels away from the face of the trench. Once the panels are capable of being easily lifted out, continue backfilling and raising until the unit can be completely removed from the trench. If the trench has battered ends and the ground is reasonably self-supporting, an alternative extraction method is possible. After depressurizing the struts, operatives should stand either side of the trench each with an installation strap. With a stable footing, lift the system in a steady continuous motion, 
carefully walk the system to the battered end and lift fully out of the excavation. Repeat as necessary for the remaining units. It is not safe to re-enter the excavation and backfilling must be done from ground level. Carry the units back onto the timber skids. Reattach the bucket pump hose to the hydraulic coupling. Turn the valve on the bucket pump back and apply even pressure to the top panel to release the fluid within the cylinder back into the bucket. When completely emptied, remove the quick release valve from the strut. Remove arc clips and pins in sequence, firstly to allow the top panel to be removed, followed by both hydraulic struts. Disassembly is now complete. Before collection, remove any loose dirt and contaminants. Units can now be returned to MGF.